In this Geography Quickie, we talk about selecting and changing properties of multiple objects. I'm Linda falberg Stoyanovska, and my website is at math247tbworks.com. So here we have opened Geography, and we go to the Polygon tool, and we click three times inside the quadrant, so all three points will be three objects. So let's click here, let's click here, and let's click here, and then we come back to A and click again. And so we click four times, and we have three points, which are all free objects because we didn't click on the axes, and three line segments and the polygon. Notice that they're all showing labels as names. Our idea is to show you how to make them all show labels as values all at once. So how do we do that? We right click on any object. Don't click inside the polygon, it won't work. You can click over here, right click, or you can right click over in the drawing pad. So we right click and we come down to properties and we get the properties dialog box. Over here in the left pane are the objects and over here are the possibilities. And what we do is Suppose we clicked on segment, we get all three segments. We click on point, we'll get all three points. Here we're actually going to click on the main category, objects, and all of the objects are selected. Now we get a shortened menu of things that you can do to all objects. And one of them is to decide whether to show the label and then to say not to be name, but value. And then close and everything is values. And you can simply move everything to a nice point if you like to do that. So now it's showing on all the objects at once, it's changed to showing the value. Now let's look at a second example of where choose, selecting multiple objects at all at once is very convenient. Here we've opened a file called Matrix Transformations by Nicholas Bennett. It has sliders, check boxes, lots of text here. Each one of these letters is a separate text object. And you might want to move them left and right individually or separately. But in the end, when you're ready to post your file, you want these things to be fixed. Why? Because then they won't move around when the student starts to use the geographer file. You want him, when he clicks and drags, to drag the slider value not the slider. You want him when he looks down here or accidentally pulls something like that not to move text around. So notice that when I put my cursor over the slider it does not turn into an arrow so I cannot ch move the slider at the moment it's fixed. Notice that there's no bounding boxes on any of these text items so they're all fixed. That also means I can't change the, the content because they're fixed. Not only are they fixed on the page, but they're fixed, the content is fixed. So what's, what's one problem is you, oh, you decide, oh, well, this one I spelled wrong or something like that. You want to you wanna be able to change it, but then you can't remember which ones you fixed or didn't fix. This technique of selecting multiple objects really is good for sliders and text items. So it doesn't matter what object you pick in the beginning. So we're going to pick this one and go down to properties. And here's our property box. And let's look at text first. We're going to click on text. Notice that I have fixed all the objects, and they're actually all in an absolute position on the screen. But in clicking on the top one, I've clicked on all the text objects. So text is selected, the category. And I simply deselect fix object and all of the text items at once are now not fixed, so I can work on them. And I click on close. Now watch as I roll over. Bounding box, bounding box. Every one of these can be moved now, like this. Or I can decide that C looks a little low or something like that and move it. Or I can change the color of it. When I'm done, the idea is to just do the reverse. Click on any object. Go down to properties click on the whole category text and fix all the objects at once and you're done. The same thing with the sliders except it's in a different place so we're going to show you. So 
right click on a slider, go down to properties, it doesn't matter which object you click to get in. Slider is number that's visible, right? Notice that there's no fix here, it's over here on the slider tab. And so you unfix them or you fix them just as you want. And that's that. And you can change all of them to be like whatever property you want to change. Everything in that category can be changed by using this idea. This has been a Geographer Quickie on selecting and changing properties of multiple objects. I'm Linda Falberg Stanowska. My website is at math247pbworks.com. Here we're exploring the free math software Geogebra, which you can download from geogebra.org. This screencast was produced with Camtasia Studio.